Hello my beautiful creative people, this is Nairi from Creative Kingfisher and I'm doing three currently pages today and I want to say that the idea has come from planning with Donna so please step on over and check her out. I can't take the credit for doing three currently pages together. So one is going to have like a Valentine's theme and I think that would probably be my wellness planner and then I've got another one that is going to use Live Love Posh florals and some northern lights stickers as well and it actually has some other things going on actually not florals these trees actually and then the third one is going to be like a coffee type one and it's going to have modern wild stickers alongside so we have a plan we'll start with the uh we'll start with the valentine's one not because that's necessarily my favorite but because well you know let's do it so, okay. Now, I've got some really lovely shaped parts here as well. Let's get those in. So what I'm thinking of doing is, with my wellness, uh, if some of you have seen, I've got prompts for the, for the year. I can't remember if it's five or six. I think it's five. So I'm going to have five of these going on down the page. And then sort of decorate around so what I'm really working really hard on is trying to have relaxing evenings to help with my sleep the sleep at the moment is terrible I'm not gonna lie but then that could be because I'm opening a shop and I'm anxious about that so I feel like I know why that is at the moment and that maybe once the shop is open and I've got my head around the first orders and you know seen that it's gonna be okay Do that one more like that yeah then maybe I'll be I'll be less anxious I think so that's I'm still going to try and work on those quieter evenings because I do think that makes a difference to me so I've got those five in for my prompts there and then having a little fiddle around my lighting there because it's I'm waiting for another light to come but hopefully it's going to be good enough so let's have a love this in there so do you guys celebrate Valentine's Day um, in any way, you know, with any loved ones? Uh, Tim and I sort of do, but we don't always do it on the actual day. We might try and do something near the time. It might just be some sort of meal that we have at home. It's generally not anything too incredible. We certainly don't do the gifts anymore because, well, I don't know. Like, I don't need him to give me flowers to tell me that he loves me, you know what I mean? It's nice, but he's never been that sort of person anyway, so I don't really think he's going to be starting anytime soon. It's just the way it is, I guess. Some men are more romantic than others. He's not really like that. I probably, if he got me flowers, I'd wonder what he's been up to, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we might well do something near the time. But yeah, what do you guys do, or do you give it a miss you know it's one of those celebrations that I do feel some people definitely don't get into as much especially if you don't have a partner I think maybe you're like mm, no let's get that one in it's a really nice big chunky sticker this one it's clear on a clear paper which is quite nice for a change I like the spots on there as well all right what else can we have weekend getaway well, that's not happening. No, not for the shop opening. That's not happening. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think how long we've been married now. So we were married in 89 and it's 23. So yeah, it'd be 20, 34 years this year. <clears throat> that's a long time, that, you know? murderers would have been let out on good behaviour before now wouldn't they <laughs> then. no no I don't that's not very nice I do love him yeah we have our spats and our moments but I feel like we're very different it kind of works right um I'm just randomly flicking these around because I think they're really cute and I could have done those bullet points but it's a currently so it's slightly looking at it from a different point of view Let's get another heart at the top there. I'm going to get some boxes in a minute and I do have some fabulous florals to go with this as well. So hold on to your britches. 
<clears throat> now, this is what I meant when I said floors. It's floors with this one and mountains and trees with one of the others. Let me see. I think it was at the back. So what, any of these could go to be honest with you. But I think it was these I was thinking. So I think they're really pretty and they are red, but they're not super duper red. I don't feel like they're going to take over the spread because that's what will happen otherwise. Um, yeah, let's get a nice big floor down the bottom. So what have you guys been up to? How are you, how are you doing? I'm going to try my best not to keep talking about the shop, which is opening on Tuesday. There we go. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm going to try not to even think about it throughout these currently pages. Uh, put that one there. That's nice with the hearts. I feel like compliments, you know, brings in other colours and other vibes. You can do a nice little pretty fall above there. Just maybe one. There we go. The one thing I did do today, so this is not about the online shop, but I went into a local shop and they let me put my books up and display them. And we made a little, um, like a table, not a table area, shelf area for my products. And it was, a f it kind of made it feel really real because when you're doing an online shop, it doesn't feel that real. It feels like it's it's kind of not really happening. I was actually putting them there for sale and putting their prices on them in this little quaint little shop. It was, was really lovely, I really enjoyed it. So I wouldn't mind doing more of that, getting them out into the public and sort of physically selling them. It would be good fun, I think. And put that one there. I'm just gonna let that spill over a little bit. Obviously not with a great big crease in like that. I hope you realise I've got the seagulls nearby. So some of you said to me what you wanted me to call my seagull on in my sticker book. So I've got about four names so far. So if you haven't been part of this, check out my I think it was my flip through where I'm talking. Check that out and you'll see that I ask you to name the seagull and the seagull will get a name probably before my shop goes live because this seagull might end up in journaling cards and postcards and stuff so I feel like he or she does need a name. Let me just move that out of the way. All right, loving this so far, loving this. Now, it's not done though in my mind. So, let me see. So still having lots of problems with the boys. One of them, the older one, is sorting himself out a little bit and he's not being bullied as much, but he is still being bullied. So, um, but we're kind of getting there with that now. I feel like he's stronger and he, he knows what he needs to come to me over and what he, what he can tolerate. So that's him. Now the younger one's having problems, but I've got to be honest about the younger one. Sounds like it's not very nice, but he does like to attract a little bit of trouble and drama, you know, so it's quite difficult as far as he is concerned to quite know, you know, where where we're at with it. I hope I've put my cutting tool in here, but it looks to me like I haven't. Well, that was funny. Just went all the way around everywhere and then came back in here and it was in here. So that was uh, funny how that happened really. Right, let's get this little bit up because now it's covering that heart and I didn't intend for that to happen. So a bit fiddly though it is, let's just get it off. There we go. All right. Yeah, like that half kind of flowery heart thing there, looks nice. Um, what do I think about that? Do I feel like that's enough for currently? Possibly, I feel like it might be just needs one thing else get a sitter okay maybe we do get a sitter get that one up this is where you slice your hand off you know right get a sitter okay well let's put that there it's just a reminder and that my loves is currently number one for my wellness plant 
these northern lights but I thought for currently it's okay to use up the rest of the sticker so I don't know about you sometimes when you use stickers once you feel like you can't use them again and I thought for currently it could work quite well so I'm going to get some of these big trees in first because they're huge and I don't want them to get in the way so let's get those in so have you ever been I mean it depends where you're living I suppose to a really cold country before I remember that my dad, I mean, it was a bit sad in a way because, I mean, he wasn't very well anymore, you know, and he kept saying, oh, I really want to go to Lapland. That would be my dream place to go. I'd just like to point out to him back then that it would have killed him instantly, but uh, yeah, have you ever been in any, anywhere really sort of cold? Or are you in? <laughs> Maybe. That's a silly question because right now you are in a really cold place. So you don't need to be talking about anywhere cold. Now I like that. Now it's whether I, I think I will divide it up with these little trees as well. Cause if you can see the trees, although the background color is very different, it's the same sort of tree. So that was my thinking there. So I'm going to just divide up my currently page a bit with that, like so. Yes, that's good. So I've got my next idea for my next artwork, my, my watercolour. So if you don't know me, I do watercolour for my my sticker books. Um, my next idea I've got, which is along the vein of, could be along the vein of kind of Valentine's. Mm. Do I want an art thing there? Yeah, go on. I was thinking of doing some hot air balloons. Uh, I think I might record it as a video, so let me know if you think you would like that. Okay, let's make it work. So, yeah, I'm thinking of doing a watercolour painting of a hot air balloon. But the hot air balloons, somehow, I've got to think about the design of it yet, will have somewhere on them some hearts. So they could either be slightly shaped as a heart, or there could be heart designs on the hot air balloons, you know. Can't tell if that's all oh, right, okay. Then it will feel like it's a good time to do it. It won't seem strange to be doing Valentine's stuff because otherwise I might be painting it in the middle of summer or something. And it always feels, feels a bit weird. It's a bit like I did do, I'm gonna come down here. I did do some of my Christmassy paintings around Christmas even though this sticker book isn't due out for a very long time because it felt nice to do Christmassy you know paintings at that time oh that's come out nice isn't it now that's what to do with this one I might just pop that down there so I don't feel I need those dates in there really that's I like that all right now I feel like I can keep going a little bit with some of these because it livens it up a bit. So yeah, I'm thinking of recording that and putting it on the channel. I thought that'd be nice. Um, yeah, these will come too. These are odd, very odd shape, but you can do some nice things with them. So let me see. Make it look like a window, I think. I've never done that before with them. So let's have three windows because then I can write things in them. One. Two. and then three can we just get that one in squeeze it in yeah okay that was a bit closer but that's all right quite like that and now they're going to be dynamic up there aren't they so let's get those in so yeah, I've been thinking in the back of my before I do a painting, I think about it a lot, about how it's gonna look and what might work and what won't work. So that when I actually come to do it, I'm still experimenting, but I've got an idea where I'm gonna go with it. When you actually start to do it in reality, it's it comes out different, but I've got a picture on my mind about these hot air balloons and I was wondering whether to create them in a slightly vintage way because hot air balloons are quite vintage aren't they do you like that different combo but 
those could work. Let's do that, I think. Yeah, the hot air balloons could have a vintage look because hot air balloons in a way are vintage. However, with vintage that's not bright and Valentine's Day tends to be more of a bright, sort of happy, red-ish celebration, doesn't it? So there's some thoughts for you there, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas about hot air balloons. Cute is what this is, this little hexagon disc thing, or is it an octagon? Oh, I don't know how many are on there, those sides. These have not been cut right and they're happy plastic as you can see how thin that is on that side. But hey ho, let's not get all shirty about these things. Right, I'm gonna cut up a few florals. It's my pet hate to do that, but I think it can work on this spread. I'm a firm believer in not following the trend of what everybody else is doing. Okay, but I can definitely see how cut floors will work really well on here. So let's chop in half. And then we'll move on to the next one. I think what I'll do is I'll put the prompts that have come from Anna Bean's volume number one book and I think her volume number two does have the same sort of um, currently prompts. I will um, do that near the end because that's not so exciting for you guys. I'm gonna have to put that there. I wasn't gonna put that there, I was gonna put it next to the windows but I think just I'm just going to go off to a side a little bit. Okay, I think I think we're done. You know, I could go on and on forever, but they are currently pages, and I don't want to don't want to over decorate a currently page really. All right, lovely, lovely. I've got so many options here. I've also got some lovely washi that can fit nicely with it. So I'm actually going to go for quite a um, quirky colour here always have an attitude of gratitude that's nice doing what makes you so happy that's also nice i'm going to put that one in so i'm just going to get a little bit of structure into the spread because with the currently obviously you've got a bit of a it's like a blank page basically isn't it and it's anybody's guess as to where you're going to start sticking so let's get a bit of structure in it's my way of looking at it so i've got that up there and then I think I'm not a great lover of the leopardy thing, but again, it's going to add a little something to the to the page. So I'm going to put it in, and then I'll get some decos in. So if you're new here, hello! It's really nice to have you here. And some of you do come on because of the little shorts I put on, and I just pick out a key moment, and you like that. So welcome to the long form content. And some of you have been here for a very long time and you comment a lot on my spreads and you tell me that I'm therapeutic. Well, that's wonderful. I just wish I could therapeutic myself. That would be great. Uh, kind of going to go here. So, welcome back to all of those of you who are very loyal. For those of you who comment, of course, those of you who don't, who prefer, prefer not to and just probably have a little chuckle to yourself in the background about my goings-ons. I did use this book quite a bit when, it first, when I first had it, but then I think the colours didn't kind of lend itself to the summer that well, because it did come out in the summer I seem to remember, which looking back is quite odd really because they're more fall type colours. And by the time I got to fall, all of the new books were, were really out, you know. Um, let me just sort this out a minute. Oh well, no, let's not sort it out then. Okay, that's interesting. Not sure about that yet. Is it going to stand out enough against those coffee, co coffee cups? Possibly not. We might need an extra something. We can put some gold boxes in. More than possible. Right, let's go back to my shapes book. Because whilst I'm on it, I might as well use them. I'm not going to go for the same shape. Let's have some hexagons. I think that will be very, very nice. Let's have that there. And I'm going to come down here. That's really annoying me, but I don't know what to do about that. I'm thinking about it whilst I'm planning about how I'm going to overcome that. 
and I don't think I can if I'm honest. Let's have some small hexagons now. Let's just float them a bit. A gold on a gold. I don't normally use gold but again you know I don't think we should limit ourselves as planners should we. We should give everything a go I think and not get stuck on certain ways of doing things. Alright so I like that. Now before we get super bored and wonder where the coffee is, this is hot chocolate I think, then let's get some of these in because let's be honest we love this bit. This is the bit we all want to see. Some hot chocolate and I think this is a different type of hot chocolate. This is drinks galore isn't it? Now I could get you know cheat a bit and put that there and you know that's what I'm gonna do. That one. Got a nice coffee cup here. This is Peach and, Peaches and Pine Studio by the way what I'm using now. Whereas Northern Lights was from Simply, Simply Gilded. If you wanted to know. I have lots more Peaches and Pine sticker kits which I'm going to be enjoying and I think they're especially good for a dashboard. And that one there. Okay. So far, it's okay. I'm not loving it and I'm not hating it. That's the truth. Ain't that the truth? I think I need to go back and find something that's really clever from here. And I'm just not seeing it, but there's plenty of choice. So that could just be because I don't want to see it. Right. I can see what can work. These here. This could be one, actually. I don't know. Oh, it's one. Oh, yeah, that's good. That looks like coffee cups, but it isn't. Get that in. Hmm. Well, definitely need something else like that up there then. Happy vibes. Should we do that one? And get that one in. For sure we can. Just need to trim that one in a minute. So I do remember what I was going to do now. I was going to grab... Uh, different colour floors from in here, almost non-coloured floors from in here. I felt like I needed to find a floor that was slightly unspectacular, which I know sounds weird. In other words, not one that really stands out, not necessarily the best of florals. And this is by kind of a plan, and it wouldn't be my favourite, but I definitely think it will fit well with what we're doing here. We're just going to edge some of the corners and just give it another, you know, another colour, something of interest to look at. So if you're not subscribed, please do. Maybe we'll just put a smaller one in that's got a bit of pink in it as well. Ow, ow that hurt. How many times I do that? Could that just, yeah, okay. We'll go a bit easier with it. And we'll stop plonking them anywhere and everywhere. The corner didn't work, so let's just do, um, let me just do some small ones. Again, I'm not advocating cutting everything up, but I think for this spread it probably will be better if I do. I'm just going to put that there. I'm actually going to put one in there. So I feel like if I don't add the florals here, there and everywhere, it's really not going to look right that I did it there. This is too much here, but I can't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that up without destroying the planner. So let's have that there and then I'm going to chop this up I don't like it. I did When I took it off the thing I did think it was going to be one and of course it wasn't and it felt like it was a bit too late to do much about it then really. Let's have one down here. I might have to put a little floral on the end of there because it's made a funny shape now. Although they're all going to be that shape, to be fair. I feel like I'm making a bit of a pig zero of this, but it had to be changed. It had to be changed. I put that one there. Okay. What do I think of that? A bit muddly, but I feel like let's stop right there and not try to improve it anymore. 
because it's silly to keep going. I feel like it's done. I don't feel like I could put any more in there. All right, so there are my three currently pages. One, two, three. Let me just lay them out for you. I'm not gonna ask you for votes for them because that would be exactly what Donna does and she does it fabulously. But um, of course, if you wanna say which one you like, that's fine. But um, so yeah, so we've got my wellness, my social media, and my currently planner, currently page. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on Creative Kingfisher. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that and you, you've enjoyed these three currently pages and I will see you on my channel, Creative Kingfisher. Thank you.